Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing weekend so far and for all of us that we are mothers, happy Mother's Day. I hope that you're having a beautiful day so far, that they are taking care of you, pampering you, giving you extra love, spoiling you. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And I thought to myself, what about if I get ready using the best makeup for the month of April 2022? So I started my day feeling really good. I actually woke up very early, like it was 15 minutes till five o'clock in the morning. So I went ahead and said, you know what, if I'm awake, I better just stand up. I went ahead, did my Peloton, and then I took a shower, did my hair, got ready the kids to go to school. Yes, because when you're watching this video, I have already pre-recorded this video, not on Mother's Day. And anyhow, I got ready the kids to go to school. Then I had a couple appointments after that. I just finished with my last appointment and I'm like, okay, let's sit down, let's do a video, let's let's just put some makeup on. And I'm super excited for today's video because it's in partnership with Shop Miss A. And when they approached me, I'm like, wait a second, because you know, my friends, I had been raving about the Pow Pow Beauty Sponge for so long. <laughs> it hasn't been only on my April favorites, on my March favorites, February favorites too, and I just absolutely love this sponge. So when Chop Me Say approached me, I'm like, oh, absolutely. And then from years ago, I had been purchasing their Z palettes. So these palettes are here, they are completely empty, and then you can put inside whatever singles you have. I have my collection right here of Cleona and other brands. I mean, I just you know, I just have a collection of singles and I really love these C palettes because they are nice and sturdy. They come in different sizes. I don't know if they still sell this size right here. I have seen the one that is like half the size, but they also come with a mirror, which is something that I really, really love mostly. You know, when, when I like to do my makeup, I like to have a mirror in front of me and I think this is super handy. But not only that, Shopify has a lot more products, even for the home. Actually, in the mornings, I really enjoy to put on my diffuser and just, you know, put some essential oils and get the house like, you know, ready for the day with some really nice oils. And they have these little diffusers that they are actually portable that as soon as I started I was like oh I really like it and I really like also the style of it it looked very nice and clean kind of like a natural wood and they also sell the essential oils I personally love lemongrass I like lavender too for nighttime but lemongrass is a scent that wakes me up or lemon or orange I really love those scents so I was like wait a second I didn't know that shop me say they didn't only sell things like that has to be related with with makeup they have actually makeup too but they do have other products like for example the silicone mat that has some texture that I actually use to clean my makeup brushes and sponges and I really love these silicone mats because they are very gentle mostly with the brushes you know that most of my makeup brushes are food there so they are natural hair bristles so I do not use anything that is harsh on them I like to use things that are very gentle with my brushes that is a mask and aside to all the amazing products that you can find at shop me say they are also very reasonable in pricing i mean like each of these sponges i think they are like a dollar 55 cents and yes you heard it right but not only that they have like value packs so they come like six of these sponges i think for less than eight dollars it's just a total steal a total steal so i will be leaving my link to shop at shop Mise on my description box below along with everything that i will be talking about today so thank you so much to shop Mise for partnering up with me on today's video i'm just so super excited because I absolutely, I'm like every purchase that I have done from Shop Me Say has been amazing. Okay, my friends. So like I was telling you, I started my day very early morning. So I already applied my SPF, but I'm going to go ahead and reapply it. I'm just going to take my rinse off really quick. 
So I have been enjoying so much this Tatcha the Silk sunscreen. It's very, it's liquidy, but it sets on the skin really well. It absorbs in the skin really well too. And it goes beautiful under makeup. So this is reapplying it actually, because like I said, in the morning I put it on, I went to drop off the kids to school and then to my appointments. <laughs> so this is my second layer right here. You see, and it doesn't leave a white cast either. It's really, really nice. For my enlarged pores, Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer. And yeah, I just apply this on my enlarged pores area right here and right over here. You know, I have been using my Korean Body Light Face Mask and it has been helping me a little bit with the redness and my large pores, which is just fantastic. For foundation, I'm gonna go with Dior Forever Skin Glow. And I'm applying it with a Shop Nisei Taupal Sponge. One thing I have to tell you, if you enjoy applying your foundation with a sponge, this is a great sponge. And if you are a makeup artist, you perhaps already know, but these sponges are just so great to have handy. Mostly right now that wedding season is already here. Talking about wedding season. I'm just so, so excited. One of my appointments. Okay, so between yesterday and the day before yesterday, I sent 22 new proposals. These are for next year, for 2023. So I'm excited for that. But today I book another wedding and I'm super excited for this wedding. I mean, like I get excited for every single wedding, but I'm excited because the couple, they just want something very different for their dinner. And I'm not talking about the style, you know, like not that it's just plated or, you know, food stations or whatever it is. It's just that they want an experience for their guests. And, you know, usually when we do like winemaker dinners or like birthday parties, you get to do those very, very special, unique menus. But for weddings, you have to have the right client. And this client right here, I don't like to call, I don't like the word foodies, honestly. I mean, like, if you are a food connoisseur, you are a food connoisseur. It's not like foodies, it's just, I don't know who invented that word. But anyhow, um, I'm just excited. I'm super excited to have this. Like I said, I'm excited not only for the clients, but also because of the menu itself. It's going to be just fantastic. Now let's go for color corrector. I'm going to be using my Chanel color corrector. Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush. Going now with Cosas Concealer. Western Atelier Bone Brow Defining Pencil. I like to let set the concealer on for a little and this brow pencil it's really nice it has taken me really by surprise because I thought for a moment that I was not going to like you know how thick it is but I actually like it quite a bit it's very easy to fill in my brows To set my brows, I'm going to be using my Patrick Ta, the Brow Lamination. What's it called? Brow, Major Brow Lamination Gel. Such a long, long name. Going back to my brush and I'm going to just spread the concealer. To set my under eye area, I'm going to go with the Givenchy Prise Libre setting powder in the compact so this is the same powder as we find on the loose presentation but they just came out with this one right here i will be leaving where to find it on the description box below i had had it for 
a couple months now you have seen me wearing these right here and i truly really enjoy the setting powders by Givenchy they are very lightweight and although they say that we're matte they don't really mattify too much they just basically give you more of like a natural finish to the look of your skin so it's something that I truly appreciate and I appreciate this compact format because it's good for traveling you know because you know how it is if you take it for I mean if you're on the road that's okay but if you go on an airplane with a loose setting powder when you open it up it's like <laughs> all the powder starts flying everywhere it can be a little bit messy so I really appreciate that they have come out with this version right here I'm gonna use an Isum B49 brush and I'm gonna go to this beauty right here from Christian Dior is the Dior forever natural bronze this is from the Dior Riviera collection the summer collection from Dior in the shade 005 warm bronze and I'm sure I'm not going crazy <laughs> I know a lot of people said oh it's a re-promote but I have heard from many of you the same thing that I think I have swatched my arm I do have the bronzer that is permanent in the collection in five and I feel that this one right here has a little bit of warmth to it. The one from the permanent collection is a little bit cooler in tone. So again, I don't know if I'm going, you know, a little bit crazy. It's not the contact lenses. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah, this leans a little bit warm. Not too warm, but just perfect sun kiss kind of look. Perfect. I honestly love it. Talking about contact lenses, uh, <laughs> I know some of you are like, oh, I like you with your contact lenses. Some of you are like, I don't like you with your contact lenses. Um, I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate accepting and welcoming, you know, that from time to time, um, and I don't want to call it the crisis of the 40s because there's no crisis right here. I used to use contact lenses when I was on my 20s and 30s you know but it's they are not like for every every day i just like to have fun and you know what we live once why not you know uh, on mother's day most likely i'm gonna have them on and my kids they like they love it <laughs> they love it they are like oh you look cute with their mom and they you know and i think that's the most important part if my kids accept me you know um you know when I want to try something that's amazing I'm just gonna have fun you know whether I want to put makeup on no makeup if I want to put contact lenses or I don't want to put them or I want to turn my head in you know red or blue you know we again we just live once and if we want to try if we want to experience as long as we are not hurting anybody I think that's the most important part you know I know a little rant right here but I just want to say thank you for those who support and for those who are like ah oh, take them off you know maybe in a month I will <laughs> maybe not who knows oh I love this bronzer it's so good look at that it is so pretty I love this bronzer so much you know I have been talking so much these Huda Beauty chick teams they're just so good honestly they are just too good to be truth so I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier cheek color brush this is so pretty I love that it's a little bit pearlized so it's not that it's glowy it's not dewy it's not sticky and it does have pigment it's just a little bit pearlized so that means that when you're turning it's not a highlighter either but it just gives a very healthy glow to the skin without looking oily greasy balmy there's nothing of that on this blush i think huda beauty she did a great job with this blush i just feel she should have perhaps just put it in another type of packaging you know but other than that i mean like it's more important it's just a product look at that it was so cute I look like okay i have been out at a brunch 
I just got a little sun kiss right here. And by the way, <laughs> talking about brunch. <laughs> what are the plans for today? Are you going for brunch or you're going to go just for lunch or dinner or both of them? What are the plans for Mother's Day? Do you have plans or just staying home? Doing not much? I'm going to go with these Say Spicy Lash. I know you're going to be like, that's a lot, Jacqueline, so much. I'm just going to use a very little amount. I'm just going to spread it the top of my hand and I'm going to be using my Isun X52 brush this is a great brush and I'm just going to use just a little amount and I'm just going to drape it a little bit of heat I'm going to set now my blush with a little bit of the Stone for Eclat Nude Dual Blush and I'm going to be using again the Isum number X52 brush it's already been cleaned. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this nudie tone very close to my large pores area. I'm telling you, tone 4 needs to bring this formula for setting powder. If he was to do that, it would be a hit because for some reason it just blurs the pores so beautifully. Before I go to the eyeshadow, I'm going to go for <laughs> my Hermes Lip Oil Hermesistable in the shade Rose Cola. I haven't been able to put this down. Like today morning. I didn't put any makeup, just my sunscreen, not even mascara. And then I went ahead and applied this on and it smells like Coke. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I'm just putting it right now to, you know, just give some love and care for my lips. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to go to Patrick Tan Major Dimension 2 Rose Palette. This is such a beauty. Oh, I love this palette. It's so, so good. I was thinking actually to use one of the new Dior Velvet eyeshadows, the Blue Dantel. And, okay, there's no rules in makeup, okay? If you want to wear blue on Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, you do you. <laughs> But I was thinking, you know, I don't know, I maybe for Mother's Day, personally, I most likely will use these and then maybe at dinner time, at night time, I will then use the blue velvet, you know, for night time. But for morning time, I think I want to use something like this. DK Beauty 203 brush and I'm going to go to the cream shade right here, the lightest one. This shade right here can be just a one and done shade. Honestly, it's just so easy and it has so much pigment. And I don't want to take it all over the lid, but just on the outer skirts of the eyelid. Now with this eyeshadow palette, you will definitely get just, you know, like something very rosy in tone. Vanity Makeup Blender Brush, and I'm going to go to this shade right here. And by the way, if you don't know, these brushes from Vanity Makeup, they are actually made out of natural hair bristles. I remember when I did the unboxing, I said it, wait a second, these are natural hair bristles. I, you know, like, you know, <laughs> when you touch, you know when you know. But it said on the car when they arrived that they were synthetic. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna go with what the brand says. These are synthetic. Well, then chatting with Annie, the owner of Vanity Makeup, I'm like, Girl, these are gray brushes. Are these synthetic? Really? And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention they are natural hair bristles. I'm like, girl, these are even better. They are amazing. They are so good. And I already washed them and they are great. They are fantastic. Let's just do this shade right on the crease and I'm using the mini blender. So I'm just applying it on the crease and then a little bit on the outer V just mapping out a little bit shades vanity makeup flat blender and i'm gonna go to this mauve tone that looks just incredible i'm taking it on the outer V if you hear my stomach rumbling it's just that it's about time for me to break my fast I mean, after being awake for so many hours, like I was saying at the beginning, I think I mentioned it, I woke up a quarter till five and 
I had been just like non-stop. Go here, go there, meeting here, meeting there. But right now my stomach is like, mm, can we have a break, please? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get a little bit of like, I don't know, perhaps a coffee. I'm gonna use my finger and use this pinky shade right here, I think. Let's see how this goes. Oh yes. I think I want to go to this shade right here and oh, this shade is gorgeous. It's kind of like a dual chromey tone and I'm just gonna Pat it right on the middle of the eyelid. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna go to the Vanity Makeup Pencil Brush and I'm gonna go to this shade right here. And I'm just gonna apply it beneath the lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer. And I'm gonna go to this deeper shade here. And I'm gonna line my lower lash line like super, super, super close. Just making it deeper. In fact, I'm, I think I'm gonna go to this shade here actually just to make it even a little bit deeper and then with my refer O3 brush I'm gonna go to this shade here and then I'm gonna apply it on my inner corner and with whatever is remaining I'm applying it on my brow bone I want to line my lids a little bit softer so I'm gonna go with my benefit roller liner in brown honestly this is the perfect shade of brown I really love the applicator too. It's just so good. I think the only one that can really make it better will be if Tom Ford will come out with the dual liquid eyeliner in brown, like this type of brown, not too dark, not too cool, not too warm. For the waterline, the Hourglass Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Cave. And this is a twisty one. For mascara, honestly, I'm tempted to use my Isum mascara. But I also have been trying and trying and trying to love this Dior, <laughs> Dior Show mascara. It is okay, but I like it with the primer. So I think I'm just going to use the primer and go for it. And then on with the Dior Show mascara. You see now with the primer, this mascara, it gives me everything that I want. The volume, the length, the definition. But when I apply it alone, it just starts to like, want to put my lashes together. And that's a look that I'm not here for. And then for my lower lashes, I tend to go with a Tube mascara and I really love the Hourglass Unlock mascara. This is such a good one. It's easy to remove, it doesn't smudge, so I like it. And it just defines really well the lashes too. For highlighter, Pillow Talk Romance Light beauty right here and I like to go right in between these two now when you receive it you're gonna see some kind of like shimmer sparkles in there um, it's not like glitter that will stay in there it's just an overspray you can just dust it off with a brush and then go with another brush to apply it but anyhow I'm just gonna go for this baby and you're gonna be like are you gonna go with another blush Jacqueline <laughs> This is by Chantecai. It's called the HD Radiant Blush in the shade Hope. They also have the HD Perfecting Loose Powder in the shade Candlelight. So when I have like a pinky makeup look, like, you know, like pink cheeks, pink eyes kind of situation, I have been enjoying this so much as a finishing powder. Just as I use the Candlelight Loose Powder. And honestly, to me, at least on my skin tone, it's not a blush. I'm like I can go like a thousand times and I see it there, but it's not really what I would consider a blush. Or it will be maybe like a very subtle blush situation for someone that has like fair skin tone. But for me, it's more like a finishing powder. Okay, let's remove that oil. Go for that Isum Dua Lip Pencil. And I'm almost done with my makeup and I haven't told you what I'm gonna do today, Mother's Day, thinking ahead. I don't know, <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise, I guess. 
I, like I said before, usually Mother's Day and any holidays for me, it's not really a time to celebrate. I mean, I celebrate it morning times usually with a nice breakfast, but then usually it's work time um, because the nature of my job. So I know. So I really don't know if there's any plans for my husband or my kids. I have no idea. These Isum lip liners, they are incredible. Honestly, nothing to envy to say a Charlotte Tilbury or a Pat McGrath lip liner. They're this good. They're super nice, soft, easy to apply. And I love that they are dual. So you get two shades. And if you're a person that rather have, like say for example, you know, your lips completely filled with a lip liner and then just go with a gloss on top, you know, these are just perfect. Also, the consistency, if you don't even like to put a lip gloss and just go for lip liner, it's not one of those lip liners that they are drying. And by having two different shades, you can create, you know, a nice gradient too, if you like to go lighter in the middle and then a little bit darker on the outer skirts. Or otherwise, if you like to do like, you know, kind of those beaten lips in the middle and then outside just the lighter shade. I think these are so good great okay i think there's so many lipsticks honestly i cannot decide so i think i'm gonna play with a couple of products i'm gonna go first with the parmagraph nude romantic number no. two this is the satin allure formulation a satin formula and these are beautiful i really love 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 the formula itself it's really nice Not too shiny, creamy, but not too thick. See, I like that. Really pretty. Okay, and then I wanna I want my lips a little bit extra juicy. So I think I'm gonna go with this hourglass. This is the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balms. And this one is in the shade Sleep. These are everything. So good. Look, look at that. Mm. My lips look juicy and healthy and it's not goopy, you know. And for the fragrance of the day, you know, for Mother's Day, sometimes we think about like something roses and flowers and delicate. And yes, I love all those flowers, delicate roses, you know, floral scents. But I also think that mothers, we are very strong we have a lioness in our inner self that is just so powerful that we are just there for our kids and we love them but we protect them such an energy and empowerment that comes from the deep deep roots of ourselves when we become moms that honestly i want to use something that is a little bit more that it has just something that actually represents that more power but at the same time that is to me i mean this fragrance in particular can go either way but i think it leans in a way nice and feminine but it just is empowering and i'm talking about my latest love is house of siage ruby ring this fragrance right here honestly it has been quite some time since i have smelled a fragrance that has really like Wow, I mean, aside to my tone for Rose Damalfi, which is very soft and delicate and tender, this right here is like, this is different. This is a different fragrance. So it has top notes. At the opening, you're gonna smell bergamot. So you're gonna feel like this freshness going on, which is gorgeous. But also it does have saffron and rose, which brings that very like soft, delicate kind of scent. The saffron brings a little bit more of that beautiful spice. Oh, I just put it on my hand a little bit. Anyhow, um, and then it has suede as a middle note in the heart, your suede. But this suede is not your typical 
leather. It is more, it brings just some sort of smoothness to the fragrance and then you have a little bit of tonka and sandalwood that it just makes it like like i said smooth but not creamy it's just a gorgeous fragrance i don't know how to explain it better that is just a gorgeous and a very unique fragrance from the house of siage that honestly like i said there's very few fragrances so far this year that i'm like oh this is captivating me you know of the newer ones of the older ones i mean i have so many fragrances i have a huge collection but of the newer fragrances, this one is a fragrance that is to talk about. And I know a lot of you, my friends, have gotten this new House of Siage fragrance up on my recommendation, and I hope that you are enjoying it as much as I am. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that we were able to get ready together, either to celebrate Mother's Day or just to have fun during the weekend or just get ready because, you know, it's fun to get ready. I want to say thank you once again to Shop Me Say for partnering up with me on this video. Again, I will be leaving the link to Shop Me Say on the description box below. And now I would love to know from you, have you tried any of the products that I used today on this Get Ready With Me? Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it and you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye